In today's video, we will go over some of the best Blender add-ons that came out recently in the month of August, in addition to updates to the most popular ones that are used by thousands of artists in the Blender community. AMD releases USD Hydra plugin for Blender. As we said in a recent video, Blender has gained the ability to import USD files which is great. But with this add-on, Blender now has the ability to take advantage of the full USD support, achieving even more interoperability. Hydra is now a rendering add-on that supports Blender. In addition to that, any render engine that supports Hydra can be connected to Blender just by being connected to the Hydra add-on. And what makes this process even more efficient is the speed at which Hydra sends updates of rendering. For the time being, this add-on includes the Hydra OpenGA render engine and the AMD Radeon ProRender plugin for Maya. I also wanted to remind you guys that the Blender market is having a massive discount during its annual summer sale, which is going on right now. During this summer sale, you can get 2000 plus courses, add-ons, models, textures and more at a 25% discount if you want to seize the opportunity. You can find in the description links to the most important Blender add-ons and courses if you are interested. I'm very grateful for your continued support. Thank you very much. Next is Animation Layers. This is an animation add-on that had new updates recently, bringing new useful features. Basically, it is an animation add-on that helps animators in the Blender community by adding more layers, simplifying the process from using Analyte Editor into the standard animation layers workflow, which is more efficient. What's good about this add-on is that you can do different things fast. Things such as creating, selecting, and editing each layer of the animation. And you can see results right away without needing to go to the NLA editor. Pro C Materials. This is an add-on that works as a procedural material library for cycles and EV render engines. The good thing is that Pro C Materials lets you search for materials in their libraries, which is supposed to save you time and energy necessary for creating these materials yourself in the shader editor as the developers behind the add-on promise. Not only that, but you can modify the settings of the materials directly on the add-ons interface and switch between materials too. For the time being, the Pro C Materials add-on is composed of three libraries. The Rock Library which contains 20 materials, the Evolutive Ground Library which contains 8 materials, and the Evolutive Wall Library that contains 8 materials as well. Currently those libraries don't have a lot of materials in there, but hopefully as time passes, the developers will add even more. Manage Blender Projects Add-on this is a new Blender add-on that is supposed to be used to manage Blender projects, whether it be personal projects or work projects. What this add-on offers is simple, but can be effective for some people. It promises first to manage and keep track and save all your project's progress with all the details including status, client name, date of starting and finishing, income, and so on and so forth. And all this can be accessed through the end panel. Also, there is a feature that is coming soon, which I think is the most exciting and promising among all the other features, which is the ability to know how much time you spend on each project you are working on. Find bad motion tracks. This add-on does something that can be of great importance when it comes to saving time on finding bad tracks when it comes to motion tracking. The concept behind this add-on is very simple. If markers are moving in a certain direction and one or a couple of markers are not moving in the same direction, it means you need to investigate and make the necessary changes. You can do this manually, but the beauty of this add-on is the automation and saving time and effort that it takes to do that. This is a cool free add-on that you can find on GitHub if you are interested. Universal Material Creator this add-on promises to use PBR materials, EV and cycles ready, and it helps when creating real-time effects like moss, mud, dirt, rust, and snow. In addition to real-time edge detect and dirt, and you can do that with no baking required or anything like that, which is great. So the Universal Material Creator add-on was created to procedurally and remarkably reduce the time necessary to create the materials. You can do this in a few minutes instead of taking a good chunk of your time. Sci-Fi Elements This is actually a pretty cool add-on, to be honest. It can come handy when creating sci-fi elements for environments or even for characters. You can use these still elements, but you can animate them too. In addition to creating a combination of these elements, which you will have to do at some point if you want to create something that looks awesome. 
overall the add-on comes packed with more than 30 elements in addition to that the developer is going to add 12 more elements every month some of the cool features that the add-on comes with allow you to have the ability to animate easily rotate locate and reveal your elements also you have the material editor glow effect in addition to the lightning strikes and templates assets that only come with the pro version these assets can look amazing if you use them right especially lightning pure sky pro add-on update pure sky pro 4.3 has been released the add-on has some incredible features like the ability to generate volumetric clouds in the viewport using ev in addition to real-time lens flares lens dirt and the ability to create celestial bodies such as the sun the moon stars rainbows physical planets and more the add-on is created in a way that allows you to achieve results similar to what you can see in real life because it is based on real life physics you can navigate through the clouds take a look from the sky or even go to the outer space and see everything from above using pro sky pro you will be able to change the time of the day and see everything acting accordingly to help you see what you expect from the sunrise midday sunset and nighttime also during the night you can change the size of the moon to see different results that can look really impressive these are just some of the new features that the add-on comes with but you can check it out for yourself if you want to know more ev production suite this is a pack that contains few of the best add-ons that will help you deal with lighting and rendering using ev overall it can be very helpful in creating awesome scenes in ev with proper light and materials with the full production suite you will get 56 plus lighting setups a library of 165 procedural materials for add-ons and 41 plus sketchable node groups that will allow you to make your own procedural shaders the add-ons are ev express material nodes compositing nodes in addition to the material presets add-on each one of these add-ons will help you work on your ev projects faster and more efficiently with the tools they offer if you are interested in one of these add-ons you can find all the necessary links in the description also part two is coming tomorrow stay tuned for that i hope you found this video useful and informative if you have something to add you can leave it in the comment section below also you can check some of our previous videos thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one